At this point in time, prior to any results coming in today, we have a total of 28 positive test results in Vermont. The perspective there is that there are about 800 negative test results. Yesterday brought seven new positives, four of them at the long-term care facility, three members of the community who are not hospitalized. And as you heard at last night's press conference, um, we noted the passing of two individuals, very elderly, with COVID-19. The health department continues to monitor several hundred Vermonters. With regards to testing, it's always been and will continue to be for the near future a mixed picture, but far more balanced on the side of optimism. We are now having access to commercial lab capacity out of state, which will allow us to test a majority of what we term low priority test specimens, hopefully within a 48 hour turnaround time. We continue to do all the high priority testing here in state with a 24 hour turnaround time. We have an important um, affiliation we've developed with the University of Vermont Medical Center and the College of Medicine and we are constantly in touch with our federal partners and agencies such as HHS and FDA. The ultimate solution to the problem is obviously making sure that there's adequate testing reagents, buffers, all of the components of what go into doing the test. I feel proud that we have adequate facilities to take specimens from patients. And though there are a few gaps in our geographic region, we know how to fill them and they will be filled effectively.